Alright, welcome back. Today we're gonna learn how to use the flame sensor. So for this tutorial you're gonna need Arduino Uno, protoboard, flame sensor, 220 ohms resistor, a LED light and some wires. Alright, now let's get started with the wiring. We're gonna take a red wire and connect it to the pin 5 volts on the Arduino Uno and the other end of the wire we're gonna connect it to the red row of the protoboard. Alright, now we're gonna take the blue wire, connect it to the pin GND and the other end of the wire connected to the blue row of the protoboard. Alright, now let's take the RGB light. We got a shorter pin, a longer pin. The, the longer pin is on the left side, the short one is on the right side. So we're gonna take the orange wire. So we connected the orange wire to the longer pin on the RGB light. Now let's take the 220 ohms resistor and we're gonna connect it to the same row as the, the shorter pin on the RGB light and the other end of the resistor to the blue row of the protoboard. Alright, this is it for the RGB light, now let's connect the sensor. As you see, the flame sensor got 5 pins, one of them is A0, which we are not gonna need for this tutorial, because this pin is used for reading analog values, which we're just gonna use digital values in this tutorial. Alright, so first of all, we're gonna take the blue wire and connect it to the G pin of the sensor. Now let's take an orange wire, we're gonna connect it to the plus pin, and also a yellow wire for the D0 pin. Alright, so let's connect the sensor to the Arduino. So we're gonna take the yellow wire first and connect it to the pin 8 on the Arduino Uno. Now let's take the blue wire and connect it to the blue row of the protoboard. And also we're gonna connect the orange wire to the red row of the protoboard. Alright, this is it, we wired everything, now let's go into the code. So first of all we have to name our pins, so we're gonna type constant LED equals 3 because the LED light is connected to pin 3. And for the rest of the code, we don't have to type the pin number, we can just use the name, which is LED. We're gonna do the same for the fire sensor, so we're gonna type constant fire sensor equals 8, because the fire sensor is connected to pin 8. Now we're gonna go into the setup function, so setup function is only run once when you power up the Arduino. Here we're gonna tell the Arduino which pins are we using and what kind of signals. Is it gonna be reading signals or is it gonna be sending out signals? So we're gonna type pin mode LED output because Arduino is going to be sending output signals on pin 3. We're going to do the same for the fire sensor, so we're going to type pin mode fire sensor input. Because on the pin 8, Arduino is going to be receiving signals from the sensor if it's detecting fire or not. Right now let's go into the loop function, this function is always repeating constantly. So first of all Arduino runs the setup function and then it constantly repeats the loop function. So here we're going to type the actual program. So here we're going to type if digital read fire sensor equals equals 1. Digital read will read the value on a certain pin and we've chosen the pin fire sensor. Fire, fire sensor stands for pin 8 because we named it in the beginning of the code. So here if digital read fire sensor equals equals 1, which means that the Arduino detected power on the pin 8. So if there's power on the pin 8, it has been sent by the fire sensor and the fire sensor only sends the power when it detected fire. So if fire has been detected, something is going to happen. Else if the sensor is not sending any power to pin 8, which means that the sensor is not detecting any fire, we're going to do something else. And if the fire sensor is not detecting any fire, it's not going to send any power to pin 8, which means that the digital read on the fire sensor is going to be 0 and not 1, which means that the program is going to go into else function. Alright, now let's go back into the if function. Here we're gonna type what happens if the fire sensor is detecting fire. So if the fire sensor is detecting fire, we're gonna make the LED light blink. So we're gonna type digital write LED1, which is gonna turn on the LED light. And to make it blink, we have to also add a delay. So we're gonna type delay 500, which means that the program is gonna wait on the same line for 500 milliseconds, which is half a second. And now we also have to turn off the LED light. So we're gonna type digital write LED0 which is gonna turn off the LED light and we also have to add another delay so we're gonna type delay 500 which is gonna stop over there for half a second. Now let's go into the else function so this is gonna run when the fire is not detected so if the fire is not gonna be detected we're just gonna turn off the LED light. So we're gonna type digital write LED0 which is gonna turn off the LED light. Alright, so now let's try to upload the code and we made some mistakes. I accidentally typed flame sensor and not fire sensor, so let's fix it and type fire sensor. And we also have to delete one bracket. Alright, so here we go, now let's try to upload the code again. Alright, so the code has been finally uploaded to the Arduino Uno. Alright, now let's take the lighter and see if everything's working. And as you see, the light started blinking immediately after we turn on the lighter. And when we turn it off, it shuts down. 
If you still have a problem if the light is blinking even if the light is turned off, that's because the sensitivity on the sensor is turned on too high so we're gonna take a screwdriver and rotate the screw on the top to the left side. Now as you see the light shut down and, and when we turn on our lighter, everything is working. So I think this is a pretty cool project. Alright, so now if you want to make a flame alarm, all we have to connect is a buzzer. So we're gonna take a buzzer, connect it to the protoboard. And as you see on the top, we got a minus, on the bottom, we got a signal. So we're gonna take a blue wire and connect it to the same row as the top pin. And we're gonna connect the other end of the wire to the blue row of the protoboard. We're also gonna take the yellow wire, connect it to the same row as the bottom pin of the buzzer. Now let's also take an orange wire and we're gonna connect it to the red row of the protoboard and also to the same row as the middle pin on the buzzer. Alright, so now let's take the yellow wire and we're gonna connect it to the pin 9 on the Arduino Uno. Alright, so this is it for the wiring of the buzzer, now let's go back into the code. Here we just need to add 5 more lines, so we're gonna type constant buzzer equals 9 because we connected the buzzer to pin 9. And we also have to tell the Arduino that we connected the output device on pin 9, so we're gonna type pin mode buzzer output. And now we also have to go into the if statement. Alright, so here if the fire is detected, we're gonna make the buzzer sound like a siren. So we're gonna type tone buzzer 900 when the LED light is turned on. And when the LED light is turned off, we're gonna change the tone of the buzzer to tone buzzer 750. So this is gonna make the buzzer sound like a siren. We also have to change the delays to 250. So let's change this to 250. And we also have to change the other delay to 250. And yeah, I think this is gonna work. Now let's go into the else statement. So if the fire is not detected, we're gonna type no tone buzzer, which is gonna turn off the buzzer. All right, so this is it. Let's upload the code and let's try it out. And here we go, we have our own fire alarm, let's go. So this is it for this video, thank you so much for watching, if you did it, leave a like on the video, if you had any problems, comment down below, I'll try to respond as soon as possible. Also if you had any problems with the code, the link for the code is in the description below. Also please if you could help me out, I would really appreciate it, please check out the Patreon site. The Patreon site will help me not to worry about my bills, to post more frequently and to make better projects and better quality videos in the future, so thank you so much if you do. Subscribe if you'd like to see more Arduino videos. Thank you so much for watching, have a nice day and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.